we stumbled across this but doesn't open till nine and we're up to camp going up to camp the boys so we don't <clears throat> we're not, i don't think we're gonna stick around here sure about this place. So we're here at the uh, Lewis and Clark Confluence Tower. So the Missouri's over that way. This tower, I guess you could go up in and then see the Missouri. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but it's closed. It's only open uh, doit the doit the doit Thursday through Sunday, and this is Wednesday. So, anyway, but that's okay. And then we're waiting for the uh, the boys camp, the boys plates to open up. Here's the view. It's uh, a little messed up. But they got some signage over here. What it looks like. Here. Without going up. back in here and I guess they have talks what's it look like here and you would go up 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 I don't know what that is but I guess you wait there to go up and I think I can go around. Looks like a bike trail, it is. A bike trail, how cool. And that would be sweet. Well, maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't a bike trail. There's a hike. Oh, I have to tell my brother. I think it's a hike. A hiking trail, I mean. Nah, rails to trails. You are here. And the bike trail goes, wow, what a nice bike trail. Jeez. How sweet. Goodness gracious. Man, that's nice. Look at that bike trail. I didn't bring my bike. Yeah, me a bit. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off because I'm gonna start at the beginning with these. Uh, here's a plaque. Start your journey. I'm right underneath a tree, a bush tree, tree that's growing. I don't know where to start though. The Confluence Tower. And it continues over there. And to the Pacific. Which we ain't going there all the way. We're only doing half. Well, more than half actually. You gotta be a quick reader to read this stuff. But there's their, their boat, keel boat. That's pretty cool. There's the expedition leaders. We just seen uh, Captain William Clark's resting place. And 
Here's Merriweather. Great friends with uh, Tom, Tommy, Tommy Jefferson. Voyage to the unknown. Better read quicker. You're gonna miss this stuff. Get the whole synopsis of the journey. There's some of the botanical plants that they brought back with them. There's bird poop. And details of the journey. Part of it, what the journals look like. And then the exposition site number one. And then we'll try to go in order. I guess. So here's here's uh, the walkway. We gotta waste an hour because the Camp the Boy site doesn't open till nine, and it's like a little after eight, so we have to waste time. And. There's not a sprig of grass that shoots interesting to me. Oh, there is not a sprig of grass that shoots uninteresting to me. So Tom, Tommy wanted to know everything there is to know. I like this. This gives a good, like I said, synopsis of this. Oh, there's, there's Tommy. It's Merriweather, Lewis. Osage orange tree. That's neat. And there's, I guess, an Osage warrior. It is. See? It says it right there. That'll be a quick reader. Can't stand here all day. I got things to do and things to see. Anybody remembers acts from the funny company. The funny company. Da, 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 da. Building a plant collection. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of this. I can't even see <laughs> what I'm filming. The sun's in my viewer. I'm going to go quickly through this. Collecting plants and route. That's kind of interesting, though. We'll, we'll zoom in on that. Read quick. I don't know what he's doing there. I guess I, that's where they put, a, put the specimens in was the last thing. Then you could look for these. Of course, we ain't doing that. And there. And then we're gonna take a walk around here. I guess. I guess these are the plant. Oh, I understand now. So these are the plants that they they found and brought back with them. Specimens of these. See. And it's May, early May, so nothing's blooming or anything. This is a neat sight. I really like it. I understand it now. Takes takes a dumbass like me a little while to get it, to get what's going on. So it's an educational thing and you're supposed to go find this. There's, there's natural medicines and I'm sure, and there's a big goose shit on there. But hey, what the hell. 
pretty neat. Uh, so we'll just go pan down. And then you're supposed to look for these when the stuff is like in June or something. And there's them because they planted them. That's a, a novel idea. Very cool, very cool. There's some marijuana. No, I, could be. Could be a marijuana. Who knows? Or that could be some marijuana. That's medicinal. And then here's Native American Indians. Sacagawea and Pump, their little baby, who was born in February of the year before they left, 1804. Sacagawea. If it wasn't for her, the whole thing would have went to crap. Would never have worked. This makes a whole hell of a lot of sense now. I got my glasses on so everything looks weird. <laughs> Cause I got my eyes done. Cause I'm getting old. And then I don't know. Indian tobacco. Oh this is oh this is Monticello. His laboratory. That's interesting. Kind of gets an understanding why Jefferson was also interested in them doing this. Mandane and Arakawa delegation. We're going to be seeing. Uh, where the man, Mandan, Mandan. Very, very interesting. Maze. That's neat. So, uh, underneath the arch, they had some really sweet books on uh, Lewis and Clark. And they had like three separate books uh, on the uh, journals. Uh, so, that's, uh, we never bought it though. Wouldn't read it. I would have 20 years ago. Yes, prairie lands. Clothes that they wore. that they took. This is more interesting. I, I really like this site. You know, you kind of get the, the reason why they uh, they were doing this and what uh, Jefferson was actually wanting to know.
like I said, you can always pause it and read it. But I know. That's kind of ridiculous to do. Okay. We got two more. And uh, we can get the picture of the tower from here. Let's zoom in a little bit. have it look like what I'm looking at I guess it would have been neat to go to go up there I guess all you're gonna see is where the Missouri comes into the Mississippi but we ain't waiting around. We got, we got, we got a long ways to go. It's gonna waste battery power doing it like this, but. Oh, we get to see this. <laughs> oh, wow. That reconstructed for it. I guess that's in the Pacific, the Chinook half. I don't know. I think so. Or Sassafras, that's what I call my, my little baby girl, Claire. Sassafras. We were just talking about this, Skip and I, about wish we knew more about trees, but species of trees and so on and so forth. Okay, that's this place. I'm a liar. There's one left. One more left. Let's see what this sign has to tell us. What's a bottom land? That's a bottom land. There's a doe. A doe ray me. Some herons, I blew. Herons, yes. Versus mosquito. Ooh, that must have been tough. Oops, sorry. Don't like mosquitoes. Them skeeters.
Had a vulture. Uh, yeah, they took a picture. I mean, they drew a picture of a condor. I love how they couldn't couldn't uh, spell back in them days. There, now we're done. Still at the confluence, see? But a beautiful bike trail, my goodness gracious. Gee. And then it has a little offshoot to come here. Pretty neat. can't see the Missouri though I can't say you would see the Missouri well maybe maybe but this is what Lewis and Clark the uh, camp the boys is down that way we're gonna go down there and after this it didn't open till nine so so we done this and again this place don't open uh, till tomorrow or yeah Thursday caught a, caught a fish eagle caught a fish unbeknownst to us or now it is um this is actually the Camp Du Bois site in Illinois. Um, so I got uh, the beginning is of this. And as I stated, we went to the confluence up the road and then came back here because this opens up at 9 o'clock. And it's a good thing I got the, the uh, monument over there, the rock or whatever, because there's somebody working on it now. I'm gonna get this again because I didn't really do a good job. Here's the journey. And we are actually, we are actually going to end our voyage right there. If you can see where my fingers are, oh, right there. And then, we're going to hopefully, if our health is good and and we can swing it, we're going to hopefully try to do this next year. But, but, who knows. There's a recreated sport and back to so while waiting. So while we're waiting, I'm going to go back. Jeff, I'll be back at the fort. Okay. So, to save time, I am going to go back to the fort. Bye. Such education. It is so nice to get educated. So, there it is. There it is, right there. It be uh, 
Oh, there's squirrel. Squirrel! The squirrel! Bounding down the path. Okay, so. I don't know if they're keeping this thing up very well. <laughs> it looks a little shabby, but then again, you know, they built this real quick and spent the winter 1803 to 1804 winter before they they took off uh this one this one isn't very well kept and i can't see the viewer very well uh, and i don't have my glasses on which is another issue <laughs> So, gotta wait till I get our glasses on. Try to see what I'm doing. Take my sunglasses off. Put these guys on. Okay, come on. Put these guys on. And now I'm ready to go. Okay. So. And again, I don't know if I'm going to get all this stuff. There's a sketch of it. What did Camp Brewer the boys look like? There are no sketches of it. So, that's the presumption of what it looked like. Does this... Uh, I can't see when they actually started. What date they started building this thing. But... This is weathered, terribly weathered. You see these every once in a while. I don't know if you can see what even what it says. Okay, so. So we're gonna do this before the museum opens. Uh, walk around it. Typical stockade. What's interesting is the uh, chimneys. That's kind of, and yeah, they weren't going to do rock chimneys or in a hurry. That over there. You know, they're just surmising, surmising what camp the boys look like with the boys, the boys in camp, the boys. And everything's locked up, of course. They don't want anybody to get in there so and get hit by a log and ensued. Don't blame them. But then here's some better signage. That's nice looking. What it, what it looked like when they first built it. Now they're letting it go to shit. But, but what the hell. I do like how they did these chimneys out. Take a walk around this way first. Of course they didn't have mesh back in them days, but it's just a recreation. They had to take these signs down over to winter. But I'm sure the sun, summer sun screws them up too. They had not taken very good care of this place. It's a, it's a shame. Let's see, they had this here. That's uh, terrible. Terrible. Oh well. I don't know when they built this place. Built. Oh, there's a a dugout canoe. That's pretty cool. And then we can look in this way. Look in this way, because it's it's all coming down. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's a gold mine having uh, having a tourist site like this or not apparently not because if they had enough money you would think they would look at that 
shit. It's all shit. All shit. This area under 24 hour surveillance. Like who in the hell would want to do anything here? That's kind of a neat picture though, isn't it? And yeah, state of Illinois or whoever. Who oh, yeah, this is a nice picture too. That's pretty cool. But like I said, not very good. Well, I guess uh, not enough money in the budget. Yeah, or yeah. I mean, it's a, it's probably the state of Illinois that's uh, yeah. maintains this place. But I think this is what tourists like to see is, uh, is, uh, yeah. maybe I should walk back there to let's get, um, uh, this is the kind of stuff tourists like to see and maintained properly. There's the levee that we drove on to go back to see the eagle, the eagle catching catching a fish and if I would hit any wherewithal although the reason why I was out of the car because I, I had to go to the bathroom so uh, to get the camera out quickly although I did see him flying above and I didn't get the camera out in time but I he was flying right to my way when he picked up the fish out of the water and I got the camera out in time to hopefully catch him going off to his nest to bring the food to the to the uh, to his chicks chicklets or whatever the hell they call them. Yeah, I bet you at one time they had this all open and you could walk through it. There's a little garden. I don't know why they would have a garden, but anyway. And there's the back of the place. Then I'll be filming once we get in. They got a place where they can start a fire for some strange reason. So this is in the Camp Du Bois uh, Museum. Here is a really neat statues. Do a walk around. If I know what I'm doing. Let's see. If, yeah, I'm, I'm where I want to be. And their, and their dog. I can't remember what his name is. And there we go. Okay. Yes. Keep the walk. Yes. French for of wood. For what? Of wood. Oh. Oh, okay. Wood. Thank you. <laughs> well, what was the dog's name? Seaman. Seaman. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Enjoy it. So this is in the lobby before we go into the museum. Why explore the West? Mary Webb. 
Okay, that's interesting. He took the last train to Clarksville. Ha ha ha, that's funny. Okay, there's William Clark. We've seen where his remains were, of course, yesterday. Okay. I don't know where my brother went. Oh, I missed something over there. I was too busy with this beautiful little skull. Civilian work. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Huh? Yeah, that's a United States soldiers, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. 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 Seventeen in the. Ohio wars in the 1790s, that's what they wore. Stay cap, and I think that's a foy, for oh, soldiers for foy, fatigue cap. I was gonna say foy. Okay, here we go as I do in most museums, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff, just so you get the flavor of what, of what the museum looks like. Uh, of course, I don't know. to achieve to, to prepare so this is this is where they were preparing here at Camp Du Bois before they I gotta I can remember what the lady told me to do well I'm gonna say but I'm not gonna do this whole thing it would take too long uh, with the camera is what I'm saying of course, I'll stop this thing and read. But this is a, this is a neat, you know, all the tribes in North America. I don't know why Eastern tribes aren't there, but they should be. I guess they considered those not the Western. Spanish. Tells about the nervous New Spain, about what was going on west of the Mississippi. Who will control? There's Napoleon, my buddy, Nappy.
a nice museum. There was the unanswered questions. We are going to see the same stuff no matter what we do here. Uh, but at the journey's edge, and this is kind of why I didn't do this over here. The equipment that they took with them. Oh, look at that pistol. Huh. Huh. That's neat. Down the Ohio to Cahokia. We were just there yesterday. There's Cincinnati, Big Bone Lake. So they started up at Pittsburgh. John Coulter, I understand, joined in Pittsburgh. The first white mountain man, or American mountain man, let's put it that way. There's uh, Marietta, and that's Cincinnati, and Fort Washington. They took a side trip to Big Bone Lick, Maysville, and come on down. We stopped at Fort uh, Massac. Massac. We went up to Kaskaskia, Cahokia. Now we're at Camp Du Bois. And then we will be on our way. We also visited that and St. Louis, of course. And down there was St. Genevieve. There's Henry Dearborn, Dearborn County. Ah, in Indiana, named after him, I'm assuming. Okay. But let's learn about Camp Du Bois, because this was, this was important. This was important in the grand scheme of things. I don't know if you can read that. It says, assure all your party that we have our eyes turned on them with anxiety for their safety and the success of their enterprise. Thomas Je Je Jefferson to Meriwether Lewis, Washington. 13th of January, 1804. I don't know what's in here. Oh, that's the movie. We're going to go see the movie. We'll go in and see the movie. And now we're going to the main gallery. So that was just the big... Oh, oh my Lord, look at that. <gasps> oh, I didn't expect this. Wow. Oh my lord. Oh, how cool. Damn, here's a piece of metal. Which was presumptuous of uh, Tom giving it to the peoples that already were here. Like now, we own you. I want to get a replica. I'm hoping I can find a replica of this that isn't too damn expensive. I am impressed. Let's get closer, Greg.
it's from the journal there's the young lady do her cleaning in there they didn't bring her along with them although no they might have used her here at the camp in the winter and there's one of those uh, hats that they wore back in them days the army infantry caution camp river du bois is a mystery Let's see why it's a mystery oh it's just saying that they really don't know what it looked like nobody sketched it so they're just looking at it as what other settlements and what other people did. Cramped quarters, there's dinner. Gibson killed three deer and Coulter three turkey. Shields for four turkey. Warner and Thompson 14 rabbits. Ooh. John Coulter, he's famous. Briars is very sick. I sent out our fields to kill a squirrel to make him soup. S-U-I-P. Great spellers. I'm going to do the keel boat last. Because that is the past day resistance. Core of discovery. I think they had, they had um, all the men they needed at this point. Yes, he's selecting the men. I'm pretty sure they already had everybody, everybody selected. And the white, I'm assuming, is coming from their uh, journals. Oh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. It's a bio on some of the, some of those. Fun, fun. This is all, all the the privates. So this is all the ones in the military. Sorry, but I'm just, I'm too old to be bending over. <laughs> That's my excuse. I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. Yeah, cool. There's some of the tools that they used. Anvil. Building a team, like, like a football team. They like, they like that whiskey. They're not sure if there was a palisade here or not. I don't know why they would need one. The captains. Well, we know who the captains are. We already know all that. Oh, no, hold on. Maybe we don't. Yeah. It was Clark and Lewis. This is a good explanation now. We'll do that. Yeah, that's good to know.
I guess this is the map that that one guy had. We'll be up at the Mandan villages up in other south or North Dakota. Okay. Yeah, this is good. This is good because it's only talking about Camp Du Bois instead of the whole expedition. Oh, hold on. Lewis witnessed the transfer of Louisiana from Spain to France to the United States. That is so funny. Hilarious. We got pictures of that, a video of that. And here's some more, some more. And there's pelts. And this is just what it looks like. skin or maybe bison that looks like a long one. that's probably a bison oh my god <laughs> that freaked me out that's a coyote not a wolf and then all the different pelts but here is what I am really look at this with the sail Ah, the light's getting in there. The sail got the little uh, cannon in front. This is amazing. So this is the keel boat. Did everything fit in the keel boat? Apparently not. They hit other boats along with them. This is what they packed it with. Man, oh, neato lantern. I bet you this ain't the last cute keel boat that we uh, we come across. The little cannon. How everything was packed. Extra buttons for their shirts. Let's take a take a tour down. See what it all looked like. Oh, they did a good job here. Preparations with the sails. That is so neat. Look up the sail. Uh. There's the trade beads and such. Salt and salted meat. Partial list. Uh, 
toothbrushes. This is all the preparations in that winter to start up the Missouri. thinking though <laughs> you give you give uh, native peoples that coin it's kind of like a slap in the face in my estimation but I know do not touch fake trade beans all the utensils and land or eating stuff American flags. Trade blankets. And that's it. Council. Council with the chiefs and Ooh, they were afraid of the Sioux, the Lakota. Terribly afraid of them. about it and that is it how to building a fireplace which kind of seen out back roofing the, enough man they can put this stuff together in no time uh, experienced uh, wood woodsman have no problem doing that at all okay I didn't get this because I turned around
we're going to be at Fort Mandan in our journeys. And there's a fireplace. Camp River Du Bois, St. Louis, Missouri, Missouri. Okay, we're I'll be outside, Skip. There's more. There's more. I would have missed it or skipped it. Tell me. We don't need to do all this. I'm just gonna do the cursory. I guess that's St. Louis in the in the distance. Is it St. Louis? Yeah, St. Louis. St. Louis Blues. Okay. Well, that's what we're doing. We're following the trail. And oh, that's neat. That's a cool picture. Man, that is cool. You have to pause this because I'm I'm getting. There's some movies. Suck a jumpy. <laughs> Gotta get these up. That is too neat. There's York. <clears throat> the slave. York the slave. Chased by a grizz. There's, there's a famous painting because the Indian has never seen an African American before. There's a keel boat on the river. Very nice. Yeah, we're going to be right up there. I don't need to take a picture of that. And that's about it. Although here's some soldiering gear. right into the store. So we are finally on the trail. And there's the Missouri River over there. And we are at the Lewis and Clark Boathouse and Museum. And my battery is starting to go. Changed out my battery, now I'm good to go. Let's see what these signs have to say. Oh 
and I can just read that there. Now you can. Dedicated to the one I love. Dedicated. When I'm smoking a cigarette, I gotta finish this before we go. Some other neat stuff. Oh, we're in St. Charles, Missouri. It's not open yet. It will be though shortly. Come on upstairs, okay. And we're going upstairs. Okay. That's a neat poster. That's a, no it's not, never mind. Jellystone? Here's your key scan. I don't know. Where was Jellystone? It's it in here? More of them. Yeah. And the Coulter's call or hell or whatever is farther Coulter. out. There's Coulter's route in 1807. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Well, this is a neat map. Mm -hmm. Here in St. Charles. Big Horn River. Yeah, go down. Oh, this is Kansas up here. I mean, Kansas, Montana. About 20 so, men went to Mass at St. Charles Baronio Catholic Church. Gonna have to pop some fellas. First, that's where we're at now. We got these guys. We know all about this stuff. Yeah. Don't know how much we're gonna do here, but that's cool looking. Red tail fox. Oh, there's something neat here, Skip. But I'll, I'll get all the. I'm gonna get all the animals first. Coyote. And then 
then if I can get around there's a turkey if we get a turkey in there and then did you fall over oh he fell over we're gonna see a uh, raccoon it's an interesting looking raccoon a prairie dog Another coyote? That's another. It's not a wolf. Okay. Coyote, another coyote. No wolves. Here's some neat stuff. No. Well, I like this stuff. Explains it down there, but I'm not going to worry about that. But here's some neat stuff over here. Look at this. There's where we were just at. Verbiage at the top of this explaining each one of these, but that's right close to Yellowstone up back there. Great Falls, Montana, probably there. Sheep in the back. Going over the Great Divide. Oh, this is coming down. There's York. the Pacific.
See if he talks about pipes down there. I don't know. He's acting up. Acting up with these lights. There's your little baby. Sacagawea's little baby. We're going to learn more about her in the days to come. Stack muskets. The American flag, there's an eagle. And a ducky. There's the dog. The dog. Talking about the journals. Some otter, fishies. As a man there in Kadasa do, they did farewell to some of the weird. Stay behind. See all these things basically talk about the same stuff, but it's still neat. You know. There's a penial Oh, syringe, that's for syphilis and gonorrhea, I guess. More stuff. There's the dog, semen. There, it talks all about it, Newfoundland. A little bit about him. That's neat. Okay, and our changing river shows how it changes directions. Oh, Lordy, look at this back here. And there's the Missouri. Ooh, that is nifty. I like that. I don't know what that says up there. 
pretty cool though. There's a couple more. This over here, and I think we'll almost be done. But we've seen all this stuff. Another dugout canoe. Indians taught them how to do that. dizzy here. Look at that. It goes all the way across. Sorry. And this is the confluence. Missouri and the Mississippi. This is what it looks like. St. Louis is down here. Illinois over there. And there's the confluence. And we were, we were right over here. And I think that's it. Take a look at the Missouri. Ooh. On this overcast day. Three baths. I think I closed the door. I thought they said there was a keel boat that we could get on, but apparently not. And a fiddler. Fiddler on the roof. York was Clark's slave. He got nothing out of the expedition. He eventually did uh, get his freedom in 1811. that I thought we were going to be able to get on. My way, I don't know how to do this. We get through the bars. Take a look up that there. And I'm wondering, the other one over there is a Perovu or Rue or whatever it is that. But this is a replica of the actual boat. I guess it's too early in the year. I think they take this boat out out onto the 
Missouri and you can, I guess, pay money and get on it. I don't know if they, if they, uh, well, here you go. Full replica. And then, uh, yeah, that's the one in the back. I can't pronounce that. Barua. And then there's the other one. There's three in there. I guess we should have came later on in the year. I don't know if they do that. But I'm sure it's out for viewing. And the end. Let's see. This is the return trip. And there it is. Okay. With the uh, pole. here. Oh, here we go. Go storm chasing. Look at the billowing clouds. Looks pretty cool. Over the Missouri. Rumbling, rumbling and grumbling. Don't see any. Ooh, spooky. This was at one of our stops and we couldn't get on to get to see the cavern. Uh, that was a fiasco. But we stumbled across this. And Missouri State Route 100, I believe, is the uh, Lewis and Clark Trail. Is considered Lewis and Clark Trail. So here, here's what we got. Only one. Oh, this is neat. That guy's a phenomenal guy, John Coulter. And it's raining and but I want to get this and then I can read it while I get home. You are here. That's interesting. That isn't on the trail.
the end. It's a boat ramp now. Not sure what it is. Uh, I mean the body of water, what it is, I'm sure. It of course goes out to the Missouri, but we don't know which way. We're getting out of the rain. Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to go to that ca or without getting drenched if we even got through. So we went into a gated community. They let us go into the gated community. Uh, we're following GPS and we're a mile away from the cavern or the cave I should say that the expedition or some of them visited and um, and then we hit the end of the gated community that had a locked gate <laughs> and we were only a mile away so we couldn't see the damn thing but anyway but it would have been cool to be able to uh, be in a cave that some of the people in the expedition were in. Oh well. Can't win them all. Also, Missouri's got these signs. And this isn't on the National Park Service, I do not believe. This is uh, in uh, Osage City, Missouri. And it looks like we're gonna be taking a hike. It was uh, in the National Park Service. Well, I'm not quite sure what it's all about. Yeah, it is part of part of the trail. So I guess we're gonna climb the hill too. Here's the frivility that they had after their slug of whiskey. Aha! This weather's got me. This says that we are here. I don't see the... Where's the... Oh, I guess this is the Missouri? And this is the other Osage River. So cool. And a return home. They did the same oh, thing. Or maybe the other. Mm -hmm. Well, they said 1804. Uh, Clark did this, so that's on the way out. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Blazed in, don't know what that means. Doesn't look like it's that far, but I guess we're going to be going up. Steep grades and inclines more than 10%. Bluffs or drop offs next to trail. Ooh. But it's only a 0.5 mile. Okay, we better get going. I think it says the whole trail. Do we need our stick, Skip? Could you grab mine? Yeah, I'm gonna go over here. But I gotta do it this way. Yeah. Uh, 
handsome looking people. But we're going to climb the hill. We need our walking sticks. And Skip's nice enough to go get mine while I can film this for whoever watches this. Oh, here's a continuation of the one. I can't get too close, so can I? Closer. Closer. I can get closer here. I'll get the map here shortly. Right there. And then it's gonna be a grueling climb, so this is the beginning. And hopefully I can film at the top if I'm still alive. On up the trail. Mound building. So this must be a mound here. I'm assuming. I mean, there's three of them here, and they have not been professionally excavated. There's the mounds that were excavated in other places. Here's what has to do with Lewis and Clark. Sorry. <laughs> and and these are the mounds. I guess this is one. And should never walk on an Indian mound. And I don't know where the rest of them are. This is, you can see the Missouri from up here. And uh, I guess there's gonna be another one. It's not too bad of a, rock, a walk. Uh, but as you can see it rained like hell and we're basically walking in mud I didn't expect going down again eh, Got a bench up here if you want to sit and ponder life uh, We're not sure if this is the top where that bench was We're totally confused because now we're going down uh, But there's no other sign up here telling us that this is where he stood or whatever anyway continue on the trail i was wrong i think it goes out and it comes in the trail Oh, I should have came over here. But I didn't want to disturb my brother because he was still reading.
That's pretty neat looking. Yeah, they talk about traits and the how the river switch changes, is that it? Well the traits on the on the keelboats. Oh. A, which is the I believe the um, where the two seams of the boards meet. Uh-huh. That's horizontally and vertically. Okay. And they because that's of the here here in this one and water mm -hmm. tend to um, separate. Oh. So they have to go out and use some out, more and fix them. Oh. oh. And in fact, Clark uh, spent much of a night uh -huh. doing that, and he got sick. Gotta be careful here, because it's slick. In fact, I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm, ooh, man. This, this, that's far. You can never tell with a camera, but boy, that's scary looking. Mm-mm-mm. And I ain't going out on that rock and slip off. New series, bub. We're kind of traveling on the same time of year as they did. Heavy rains along the Missouri. And we are driving in a car. <laughs> Instead of in a boat. Here's another one. Oh. A diet of pawpaws. So I'm wondering if that kept the scurvy down instead of eating all meat. Do you ever have a pawpaw skip? I don't believe I have. Me either. I've I'm wondering it. Trees, so. Yeah, me too. I wonder if it kept scurvy down, I mean, from them eating all the meat. I haven't heard anything about them suffering from scurvy. Yeah, not at all. I want a pawpaw now. I want to eat one. Probably high in carbohydrates, though. <laughs> <laughs> you are here. See that? Uh -huh. In regards to the state of Missouri. I don't know what it's all saying. Uh, amethyst shooting star. Okay, we don't care about that, but this medical mystery may be kind of neat. Apple. Which country is that? And that's it. Oh, no, I thought I seen something up there, but I didn't. Are you over there, Skipper? Yeah. Okay. We're done this time. Yeah, however, what I, whatever I can't film, <laughs> they can come themselves. Okay, now I'm gonna finish this off.
Počo? No. There. I don't think I got, I don't think I got this very well. Did I? Wood, wood, woodpecker. We are at the end. And John and some of his but or not John, William and some of his buddies were up here. And so it is. Then we turn around and go back. That wasn't too bad. Not too, too bad. There's another storm of brewing out west. We're gonna have to get on a hosses. Get on a hosses. Like I said, oh, look at that rock down there. Oh, man. I bet you stood on that. I'll bet you. They don't want you down there now. Yeah, see, see the rock. There. You, whenever you look, when we were at Serpent Mound and we were looking over into the basin uh -huh. of uh, the creek there, and I got home and I looked at it, it says you just really can't tell right. True. How, how high up you are. We'll zoom in and see. Zoom in. The Osage. It made it look. It made it look like it was. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But you would see both. We see neither. Those are neat trees, though, aren't they? Oh man, that is cool looking. She's pretty up there during the fall. I have that. I concur. I do like those trees blowing in the wind, getting ready for the next storm. Up. Hmm? You are pretty far up. You ain't a kidding. But again, nobody will be able to tell with this. So I gotta go all the way back, all the way back. No, I'm going the wrong way. I wanna go back. What's going on? What are you doing? I gotta stop. Ah, oh, that was growing, but fun. Oh, there's little bunny. Hi, bunny. Hey, old bunny rabbit. Anyway, I mentioned when we were on the Lewis and Clark trail, as uh, State Route 100 it was, and it was a Highway 100, and I'm assuming it's part of the, um, part of uh, Missouri. Anyway, that's that, so whoever wants to try it, go, go along there. We, get, we had to get off to get here. Okay, we're in Jefferson City, Missouri, and we've seen the Capitol building, so we thought we would stop and take a look. And I want to zoom in on this guy, who I would think is Thomas Jefferson, I would think. And then I'm going to try... Ugh, it's raining. That's the problem. It's raining. And zoom in on that guy. Uh, okay, if I could make it steady. I don't know who it is. It's probably some... some Greek or goddess. Roman goddess, but that's it. And my back's hurting. Over there. And then I didn't get this. Which one? With the boobies. Well, I can't go. The girl with the boobies. Whoops. I can go a little bit. I'm fine. I'm fine. And then over there is a god. Is a is is a god. I don't know what God he is. Whenever you zoom in, it goes crazy. I'm in a car, and it's raining. It looks... Damn it. I don't know who he is. We could look it, we could look it up, though, when we get back. When he gets back. 
See, I didn't, I didn't go in on her face because I was interested in her, her boobs. <laughs> eh. Okay, I'm done. <coughs> Oops. Something we've seen, and we're just talking about this, Skip and I. Uh. The 90 comes all the way down there. I don't know. But if I, anybody else is interested in it, there, 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 there's an explanation, sort of, kind of. 